salt bed some distance away. He told me that the papers on the sticks indicated where the destroyed homes had stood. They have on them the names of the families who had lived there. His two daughters were able to jump into a small air raid shelter, but his wife and small boy were killed. What, he said, have we ever done to the American people? that they should send their bombers to kill our women and children. A unit of the regular army. There's no conscription in North Vietnam. All soldiers are volunteers. And behind the army, there's a whole nation at arms. This then is a people's war. The total mobilization of all human and material resources. The old, the young, the peasants and the workers, all are ready to fight and die in defense of their country. Every factory, every village has its militia unit. Even in remote mountain areas, the peasants are trained not only to resist the bombing attacks, but for guerrilla war, should the United States land an invasion force. When a plane is hit, pilots are sometimes captured. Sometimes not. This is a small village northwest of Hanoi. In a recent raid, United States planes dropped high explosive and anti-personnel bombs both on the village itself and on the peasants who were working in the rice fields. Many children and women workers were killed. A Japanese war crimes commission was to visit the village and so the peasants placed a marker where each of the small anti-personnel bombs had fallen. The larger craters made by the high explosive bombs required no marking.
Peasants from neighboring villages were helping to rebuild some of the destroyed huts. On a platform in a tree, a girl kept watch for bombing planes. Later in the day, in the open courtyard where the villagers dry their rice at harvest time, a meeting was called to discuss the serious problems brought on by the war. Meetings such as this are held from time to time in all the villages of North Vietnam. This village leader, who is elected by the villagers, is telling the people that to defeat the 